Welcome to my channel, my name is Valerio and today we're gonna review the Akebane Boxer and for the one that never heard about this model kit, this is a model kit by Bandai it is a P Bandai production unfortunately, so it is a bit harder to find that uh, the average uh, Bandai product I bought it from, I want to say AliExpress if I'm not wrong and it was in sales so in the end I was able to get it exactly for the same amount of money that you will get it from Japan which is around 100 bucks give it or take it and uh, the box is giant in case uh, you're wondering and uh, well I had a few questions when I bought it for the first time and if you never heard about this robot this robot is directly from Super Robot Wars and there are quite a few reviews regarding the Akebane Mark II that was published a few years ago, and the Akebane Mark III, uh, Mark III that was published last year. It is a great model kit and is included inside this one. However, there are a few reviews, uh, a few difference between the single release of the product and this version out of it. Now, uh, this is a bit different from usual because normally I do uh, first accessories and then the robot, but here is a bit harder. So we show you directly what it is inside the box. And now we have the manual. The manual, as per Bandai standard, is very, very clear. Then we have inside the, the, the single display stand for the Hakobe Mark III. Uh, pretty cool and very average. Uh, this is the display stand for the Hakobe Boxer and for the uh, Caliber Sword, I think is the name. That is one of the transformation. Uh, these are some uh, extra parts that help it to keep its shape when you transform it. Uh, these are two... Uh, fluorescent hands I mean they're not great they don't look particularly well printed as well which is unfortunate this is an extra waste piece for when you transform it this is some of the weapon of the Hakabane so I think the gravity uh, the gravity cannon is missing I can't remember if it was in the Hakabane Mark 2 or Mark 3 however uh, this is the Akabane Mark 3 minus I think one weapon from the single release it is a great model kit I will not do a review out of it because there are already quite a few out of it it is a very 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 good uh, model kit way better than the uh, Hakabane Mark II especially if you like to pose and uh, it is very well done guys uh, it is pretty cool because you get it inside the box and then you can kind of transform it like you can get way more bang for your bucks especially if you also have the M uh, HG Imer which is another P Bandai release that I didn't review and sorry okay this is the Hakabane Boxer uh, this is kind of an armor that he put inside or out of himself as far as I can remember so it's not the Mark III that guides it it is the X-Bane but I might be wrong so please if you remember better than me please correct it in the comment below anyway it's pretty tall we're gonna review it into the tail so we're gonna look possibility how it connects the transformation and everything out of it uh, however I can say it looks pretty good also unpainted uh, there is a nice matte setting color pretty cool ah sorry I forgot for the Mark III there is also like the X weapon uh, I can't remember the name of it now we're gonna look at the transformation of the robot so we're gonna insert our Akube Mark III within our robot and I can already correct myself, it's the Akebane Mark III in one of his particular version. So you can decide to expose it like this and it's not too bad, I'm not hating it. Actually it's pretty cool. Uh, however, because the model kit is like 10 inches behind and this this, this all display option is pretty large, uh, so be sure to have space for it, that if you collect a G it might be one of the issue. However, I like it. This is the Akabe Mark III that enters inside the armor. So I will go through all the passage. I normally don't show out a transform model kit because they are fiddly. However, this is a great model kit in pretty much everything. So you're gonna unplug what is the backpack. You remove the hands. And uh, I didn't show into the into everything that is inside the box, but there are a couple of holding hands. I already plugged it to the armor because I found it's always hard to unplug and replug the holding hands because you need to detach them and reassemble them so first thing to move from this exposition to actually attach it to the uh, Mark III you have to change one of the part of the waist so you will unplug the leg and remove this white bit out of it now you're gonna fish inside your box for the proper uh, white piece and sorry if I didn't cut this two seconds there it is okay now I need to find out how to attach it and guys, I don't go too much into editing also to show you exactly how this stuff looks loud out of the of the box. 
uh, I could edit it way more, but then it's like, hmm? <laughs> doesn't look like his, which happened more often than not. Anyway, let's start with the easy bit. So you're gonna plug the higher part onto his back, it's a simple peg, but it's pretty resistant actually, I was surprised, it's very very resistant. You will put the shoulder pad and then we can replug the hands that I keep there just for ease of use. Normally you will have to disassemble the hands and reassemble uh, around the, the lever, the lever that commands the arms, which are actually uh, pretty cool. Uh, now, if you see something that attaches only because I did move it into some unappropriate angle, because while well, uh, doing this stuff on the yeah, there it is. It's not that easy, easy to unplug, it's just that uh, doing it on camera is never easy, but it's a solid little kit, so you cannot hold this against it. It's just me being a bit uh, ham fist here. Now we're gonna touch the waist. And again, sorry, let me fish for the white piece out of the screen. And guys, I can already tell you, if you're watching the transformation, you deserve to know, I'm pretty happy with this kit. So uh, the transformation is quite fun and uh, easy to remember versus other transformation with model kits that only make me want to throw very very hard. Anyway, let's attach the other waist kit and then we're gonna assemble it around the waist of the hack bane. It's very easy guys. Uh, so guys and girls obviously. So you see you have to open a tiny hole inside of it. This is a plug. You plug it there and then it's rock solid. So this is what actually surprised me, sorry as I say again this stuff, ah, I should have got it, okay yeah you have to do this stuff with the camera in the middle and the screens I'm not particularly jealous of people that have to do other stuff with their videos and the camera in the middle like painting miniature or stuff uh, not particularly safe to discuss, anyway let's plug his uh, diaper, I can only call it like that and is a solid plug, so don't worry, push it until you feel that it clicks and everything is inside of it, and then you see again my giant hands. Yeah. See, I should have just cut this bit, but ah, and I did. Anyway, I plugged it, that was it. Then we're just gonna put the feet inside and plug until uh, that the tiny bit fits inside the hole into the leg. Same, same. Now, if you want maximum articulation, you need to remove the feet of the Akabem Mark III. Uh, like this, the articulation is a bit limited by his feet. Not particularly, you can still take a few poses, but if you remove the feet, then it's like uh, fully movable. Now, here we have it, and uh, let me clean it up in two seconds. Now, we have our Akabem Mark III uh, boxer, and it is a bit more than nine inches. Uh, but as usual, when they put the measurement onto the official website, I never know where they start the measure. To me, this is more 10 inches than 9.5, however, it is 9.5. As you can see, I didn't align properly uh, his underworks. However, it is nice and it is solid in hand. And as I was saying, the particular kind of plastic that they use looks pretty good, even unpainted. And I'm not a giant fan of leaving my kit unpainted. Uh, but this is so far away into my backlog that guys, before I actually start to paint it, it's gonna be 2055, something like that, like very, very future. Anyway, uh, it is solid, the only thing that doesn't plug exactly is this other fit, but this is not the first time that I transform it, so uh, there isn't a whole lot of undergating, so you will have to do some sanding or just paint it as I highly recommend it. Anyway, pretty nice. Let's go for articulation. I will not do the single Mark III because there are excellent reviews about it. The head goes up and down, spin 360. Uh, pay attention to the V-fin because that is a V-fin because it is designed by Kataki. Now the arms reach shoulder level, which is pretty nice. Uh, there is a bit of rotation onto the bicep and the joint that attach the arm, um, the bigger arm to the shoulder is kind of funky. Uh, yeah, you can move it quite a bit. Now the things are fully articulated and uh, the fingers are terrible guys, they tend to pop out, I very very don't like them, I way prefer the solution they have with the perfect grid unleashed, which is a ton of different hands and not individual fingers so that you lose them, 
like that's really the only conclusion that there is for them. Now, there is a tiny bit of butterfly joint due, due to the plug out of it. Uh, the waist can move if you raise the arm without any issue. Uh, there is ab crunch, but it's the ab, uh, ab crunch of the hackbane. You can you cannot do the split because obviously you are limited by this kind of armor. And if you go and remove the feet, you can completely close the leg back. So there is ankles weevil up and down. Uh, as you know, if you see already other my videos on model kit, I don't press too much the part because then I have to unplug it before I paint it. So I much prefer to keep it uh, not fully pressed. However, you could press it completely if you so desire. And now we're gonna go for comparison. Anyway, articulation is pretty good. Huh? It is a transforming uh, robot, so can't complain. Now Lego dude, Lego dude, very very small, no surprises here. Then Akebane HG. So they scale quite okay. Uh, the AK, the HG boxer is not particularly tall. R1 SMP from Bandai. Yeah, this size is correct. The only one that doesn't scale is the Dagen Guard. Uh, way too small. Now, him, oh, holy cow, I'm blanking out, the Bampreyos, as you can see, it does arrive to his underwears, and this is scaled properly, like the, the Dagen Art is the only one, and Golion from Motheroid, just to show you that he's bigger by quite a few centimeters, with the HGAM Gunner, which is uh, sort of like a motorbike, becomes cannon, uh, pretty cool. Uh, too bad it was locked under P Bandai. Uh, this was cheaper than the other one. Uh, and the cool thing, and the cool thing is that actually uh, the boxer can actually use it as a gun. And the boxer also transform. I doesn't sh that didn't show the transformation. I will show it now in conclusion. Now for conclusion, pro and cons. Uh, biggest cons: it is P Bandai, so it's kind of hard to find. And uh, the the finger, the articulated finger, are terrible. But I need to stop to put them until they kind of understand how they work properly. Uh, and that's all actually. I'm pretty pretty happy with this kit. Uh, also, the fact that there is the Mark III inside of it, pretty nice. Now, uh, for the pro, it is it can move quite a bit. Uh, it can transform. It has the size. Uh, the quality of the plastic is very good, also the color, this kind of satin color that I don't know if you show properly through the camera. Uh, pretty happy about the results and the transformation is quite fun, I will show it on the last screen so don't worry about it. Uh, it is a silly transformation thing because it becomes a giant gun but, uh, and a kind of a surf, a surf bird but still quite funny. So do I recommend it? As usual, if you're doing Super Robot War, the HG or the Sentinel, uh, I highly recommend it because I don't think Sentinel will get the license to do any of the Hackabang, so this is the only way you can get it. Uh, the Line Meta Robot is doing the Hackabang, but only the one that are uh, the Hackabang 30, not the minor version, especially not the Boxer, so don't expect a diecast version. And for a model kit, this is one of the best ones that I saw the whole year. Uh, plastic wine, if you like to pose them, if you like to paint them, there are zero seam lines, it's quite fun. Highly, highly, highly recommend and the transformation for how silly it is, it is quite fun. So, it is pretty nice. Now, next week, uh, we're going to review a very different piece from Naoki from uh, Titano Makia, which is his new series, uh, Plastic Model Kit series. We will see into that. But for now, that's it. And guys, if you like this video, please leave a like, subscribe, and the usual stuff. Have a wonderful weekend.